<laughs> oh, nice. So anyway, so uh, before we wrap up this podcast or this recording session, I guess. So Death Battle has been going on for over 10 years now, nearly over 10 years. And it's had its well, own... over 10 years, technically. Don't get smart with me. <laughs> so anyway, uh, there's like so many Death Battles, so many franchises that have joined this. And in doing so as well, it's had a lot of fans come and a lot of fans go. But it's gone to a point now, you could argue Death Battle could be considered like as a proper show and not just some internet fan project, really, because it gets sponsors and it actually has like some people coming in trying to get their characters out there in Death Battle. Yeah, but then they're just like, oh wait, but our character can't die and can't be shown killing this, we're out. Yeah. Uh, so... Unless you're, you know, Rooster Teeth or Amazon with the boys. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Like, those guys are totally fine with you killing their characters. <laughs> uh, but if this show was to get so popular that it was on TV, on Netflix... Oh my you, god. <laughs> and you wanted to introduce people to it, what would be the episode or, or the, even the season that you would introduce people for? Or just episodes across each season. Hmm. And I actually have three episodes that come to mind that will be the first episode I introduce. But technically four if we're talking about the recent one, Yoda versus Mickey, because a majority of my friends love Disney. So Fair. that is like the first choice. Like, oh, uh, Mickey Mouse versus Yoda. Right. Star Wars is popular in the UK, so it's Disney, so it goes hand in hand, really. Uh, the three episodes, though, that uh, would be my first thought would be the first one, Mario versus Sonic. Like the first one, the or original, the second one? or most yeah. likely the second one, because better animation, voice acting, etc. And also it introduces Wiz and Boomstick's characters, so I feel like that's a really good point to go off. Because you know, if I'm mm. going to introduce the people to Death Battle, it's not just going to be through the fights. Because at that point, I might as well just show it on my phone. Like, oh, do you want to quickly see this fight? It's like. If I want to introduce the actual show, then I'm going to show them the full episode. And believe it or not, I've managed to convert my sister into watching it, but no one else. <laughs> mm. And it was with Sonic vs. Mario, the original one and the newer one. I've got my brother to watch some Death Battles here and there. Mm. Wasn't your brother in Ultron vs. Sigma's reaction? Yep. Nice. Uh... Another Death Battle that I would also get people to watch just because it's for Mag Iron Man versus Lex Luthor. One, a majority. Oh, of good choice. One, a majority of people that I grew up with grew up with the MCU Iron Man. Like that was a big movie mm -hmm. where I was, and it makes sense to introduce. Hey, do you want to see Iron Man kick some ass against a, a DC character? And oh, it, with that freaking music and the I'm just playing human line. Yeah. And yeah. That is so hype! That That is like one of the coolest lines that like, Iron Man's ever said. And it's even a comic book line as well, so it's even more fitting. Hmm. Like, I still feel like Iron Man vs. Lex is still, if not the best, but one of the best Marvel vs. DC fights in Death Battle. Oh, absolutely. I think it was also the first Death Battle to feature like facial uh, recognition. Or not facial recognition, but facial like uh, motion capture. Yeah, it was. Yeah, which is really commendable, and especially when you're having a character like uh, Tony Stark, well, you know, the MCU version, because mm. when you look at the comic books, they never showed Iron Man like under his helmet and stuff like that as often as they did in the movies. Because obviously, you know, Robert Downey Jr. is expensive, you've got to use him as much as you can. <laughs> mm. uh, you know, I wonder how much his money or his income went up when he became Iron Man. Like, it must have been like a shit ton of money. Probably, yeah. Like, he must be worth more than, like, any of the big celebrities before him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then the first film he does outside of the MCU, everything goes to shit again. Oof. Yeah, uh, we don't need to talk about, uh... Yeah, we don't need to talk about those movies. <laughs> hmm. That's still a good episode to introduce people to. Like, yeah, even is. if they're just regular Iron Man fans. Yeah, Especially because but... the voice acting is so close to Robert Downey Jr. at times. And it would also be a good introduction to Lex Luthor, I think, because he's an, as much as he is Superman's arch nemesis, he's not really as recognisable. Like, especially compared to Darkseid, Bizarro, and just so many other Superman villains. Yeah, he's just kind of uh, 
It's kind of weird how Lex Luthor is just seen as like a, a B or C tier at best. It's weird, because you really think a character like him, who's constantly nearly... That's, that's weird, because I'd say he's one of the most iconic DC villains. Right? Right. But, I mean, maybe on social media and a lot of forums, maybe that's the case. But over here in the UK, he's not that popular. Even in all the movies he starred in with Superman. Which, to me, is bizarre. So I like, mean, the last one, I can believe that. Yeah, I think that's probably... And that's, you know what, that's even better, because, you know what, this would be a good way to introduce people to the real Lex Luthor. Not yeah. Just, not just Riddler named Lex Luthor. Seriously, why, mm. why couldn't he just be the Riddler? He'll be so perfect. <laughs> that's a you know what? You might, you know, you might like this. Did you ever watch uh, Nostalgia Critic's review of that movie? Yeah, I did. It, it was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. See, <laughs> like what you did with Lex. See, I'm bold now. Why so serious? <laughs> <laughs> um. But that's a rant for another time, maybe on a DC podcast. Um, so yeah, that would be my introduction. Uh, but the next one, which might be controversial or not, because this is how I would introduce my Naruto friends, Kakashi versus Obi Wan Kenobi. I knew you were really gonna say that at some point. Yeah, because okay. First I always say really because I'm surprised you didn't say like Guy versus All Might. Uh, would be a good one to introduce Naruto I, people to. Hmm. I would, but here's the thing. A lot of my Naruto friends hate my guy. <laughs> they hate him. Uh, like, I was one of the few people in school that was like, oh my goodness, all my... Uh, all my... My guy is like one of the <laughs> coolest characters. Why do they have to have such similar names? <laughs> <laughs> all my guy, there you go. <laughs> He's an all my guy. <laughs> But yeah, like many people with my era did not care for my guy, so that's why I wouldn't really choose that. Uh, maybe to all my uh, my Hero Academia friends. I mean, I only have two really. Maybe I could introduce them with uh, All Might versus My Guy. But at the same time, I'd have to see uh, My Guy die again. <laughs> uh, but the reason Obi Wan versus Kakashi. One, I kind of mentioned this briefly with Mickey versus Yoda. Uh, majority of people that I know grew up with Star Wars or have at least watched it. Like. Hell, most of my friends who don't like Star Wars love The Mandalorian, believe it or not. So, and if, but if I'm introduced this to my neuro friends, I can see them really hating this episode, yet loving it at the same time. <laughs> because mm. K- Kakashi's voice is just so perfect. I mean, it's when you compare it to the English dub. Like, it, it, Nick did a really good job capturing the character. I was like, you know what, this man, this man right here is a good Kakashi. <laughs> How does he have this good a range? Right? Give him a few more years and he'll be comparable to the Looney Tunes actor. I'm sorry, I can't remember his name. Well, then again, you guys said I could do a somewhat decent Mickey and apparently a good Zoidberg. Who knows, maybe someday you'll take the role of Nick. <laughs> Let's just hope not all your characters die as well. <laughs> Almost all. Nick's gotten two victories. Yeah, yeah. he's gotten two. But, yeah, he's um, not the Sean Bean of Death Battle anymore. No. Nah, yeah, that's Chris Guerrero. Really? Oof. Man, he just passes on the mantle to him. <laughs> Enjoy your time. <laughs> also, Gianni Matrograno. Wow, there's a lot of Sean Beans of Death Battle. Uh, yeah, he was Lex Luthor, Needles, and uh, Nathan Drake. Wow, yeah, he, he's been unlucky. Uh, uh, I still say it would be Chris because character. he's had more episodes than uh, Gia. Yeah, although he hasn't, like... Oh, I was about to say Gianni hasn't been in any recently, so... Yeah, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, uh, to wrap up, yeah, those would be the three Death Battles I introduced people to. Admittedly, I can imagine a lot of my friends not getting into Death Battle because, one, the ones I'm re- recommending are probably the ones where their least favorite characters win. The only one where I can imagine more people will be liking it is Iron Man versus Lex Luthor because thanks to the MCU, Iron Man is pretty much as iconic as Spider-Man now. Yeah, he's up there with Spidey and Superman. Yeah, which is kind of crazy to think about now because before he was just seen as the S tier, not S tier, the C tier. He was essentially compared to the original Teen Titans cartoons or not cartoons, the comics, and those were not popular at all. (laughs) Yeah, unless you were a fan of the comics and no one had ever heard of him. Pretty much, yeah. Like, what, billionaire from America who has no superpowers and uses gadgets to fight crime? 
There's another superhero like that. Oh yeah, Princess from Powerpuff Girls. I was gonna say say Black Panther. You stole that from Unusual Suspect. I was like, wait, that sounds. Familiar. I was wondering when you get that reference. I was listening to that. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh god, I hope he doesn't copy dude, I, us. Dude, I freaking love Unusual Suspect. Okay. He is amazing, but we'll talk about him another time. <laughs> uh, so, mate, what would be uh, your episodes that you would introduce people to Death Battle? Okay, I have a bunch of uh, different ones. Uh, one is Wolverine versus Raiden. Mm, good choice. Because, well, you know, I feel like Wolverine, given he's such an iconic character, that would probably draw a lot of people in, and you could probably make it interesting by saying, yeah, it just hinges on this one question. Can ride and cut through adamantium. Uh, also, just introducing to ride <laughs> people to ride in by like him break dancing and swing all those robots all over the place. <laughs> that, that was so cool. Oh yeah. Yep. I need to play like his game at some point because it looks like a lot of fun. Hmm. I have an extra copy of it. If I could figure out how to send it to you, I would. <laughs> <laughs> would it work? Well, because uh, American copy compatible. UK console. Oh yeah, it might not work. Dang. That that's a question for another time. Yeah. Uh, although, if I'm just talking like comedic, uh, Death Battles one would probably be Hokio versus Dan. <laughs> just, just sit them down and be like, okay, just be ready to laugh at these two, and. Well, yeah, the initial fight is just kind of bad. It's done that way intentionally, and it works for the characters. Yeah. <laughs> I think they would get a good laugh uh, out of it, even if they don't know the two characters. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, especially learning about Dan and just like, oh my god. This, this man exists in the same world where a man can punch an asteroid. <laughs> mm. He pulls off the same iconic move... And trips on a backpack. <laughs> oh, Dan. And yet he has probably a bigger fan base than Ken, believe it or not. Hmm. All right. He may be also, like, we, we crap on Dan, but how big is the Hadouken you can throw? I mean, I can throw a rock. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, another one I would go with is Ratchet and Clank versus Jack and Daxter. Mm. Um, just just because it's a fun episode overall, plus it would give me an excuse to tell the story about why the liquid nitrogen gun is the killing weapon. So, I mean, the first time they watch it, yeah, but going back on it, it's meh. I think my issue with that episode as well, I mean, especially if you're going to introduce people, Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter are not as popular as people online think, hence why Naughty Dog kind of moved away from them after a while. That again, though, they, and they did kill one of their other iconic characters with a golf club, so... Naughty Dog are known for doing some weird choices in their games. Meanwhile, Insomniac are just like... It's Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> and it is... Oh, and they're also doing Spider-Man. As well. <laughs> it's funny, it's like... It's like, oh, we got Ratchet and Clank. Okay. We're also working on Spider-Man. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's like... It's... Kind of sad. That's what they're mostly known for now. It's just Spider Man. Uh, trying to think of um. It's not like they also brought Spyro into the world. By the way, I find that funny. Uh, Crash versus Spyro, Ratchet and Clank versus Jack and Daxter. Same developers, and the ones from those developers ended up winning. Both fights. <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't realize that until you pointed it out. <laughs> the irony. Oh, wow. So, yeah, Insomniac are the kings. At least in terms of... Oh, until queens. Miles fought Static. Yeah. Yeah, but does Miles really count? And... You just said they were working on Spider-Man, so yes. And... Yeah, but he's a Marvel character. Well, in saying that, though, technically Spider-Man's more of a Sony character now. Guy, most of his movies and games and TV shows needs to get the thumbs up from like Sony. Uh, 
But I mean, if we're talking about original characters created by Insomniac, then yeah, you can't count Miles, really. Yeah, and that's what I usually uh, count things as. Uh, is, when can we get is there any a others besides that, by the way, that you have? I'd go with Goro vs. Machamp, just because it's a great example of like, yeah, this matchup, it, it looks stupid, but trust me, it's freaking amazing. <laughs> Do you know what I've actually just realized? Talking about PlayStation characters in Death Battle, the only Xbox character we've ever had is Master Chief. Holy shit. I think that's actually right. Like, there's unless you count like some other product that they've probably gotten from another company, Master Chief is the only original Xbox character to ever get into a Death Battle. That's right, by the way. Like, Jesus, man. We haven't even had a, a PlayStation versus Xbox character. And before people say, oh, Xbox don't have enough exclusives, look at the original Xbox games. There was so many exclusive games on there. And someone Wait, was Prototype an Xbox exclusive? It nearly became an Xbox exclusive. Oh, uh, well, there's the... Uh, there goes the Alex versus Cole idea. I mean, it's still... Yeah. I mean, there are some companies that do eventually go to PlayStation after a while, but most of the time they originate from the Xbox. I'm trying to think. I think Dino Crisis... Oh no, Dino Crisis was a PlayStation game, then an Xbox. Anyway, we got we got off topic. I was, it, just, it just came as a revelation to my brain, like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we do that a lot, okay? So... True. I mean, did you not see how much we procrastinated when we were talking about SDev versus whatever that fairy tales guy's name was? Gray. 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 Who gives a shit? Anyway, uh, is that what <laughs> you had to say, mate? I think those are the ones that I'd probably go with. Like Wolverine, Raiden, Hoka v. Dan, Ratchet and Clank v. Jack and Daxter, and uh, uh, Goro v. Machamp. Those are some good choices, really. Uh... Maybe Thanos vs. Darkseid as well. Mm, I can see that. Especially yeah. if you want to introduce people to oh. Dark Side. Oh, you know what? There's a detail about Thanos vs. Dark Side. I never noticed this until recently. Oh, yeah? You know that moment where Thanos, uh, Dark Side is on Thanos' throne at the end, saying, Behold, an endless death. Yeah. In his open yeah. hand, he's holding the Infinity Gauntlet, and then he crushes it. Oh. You just noticed that? I didn't, even, yeah. I didn't even know that. Oh, I need to go back and see that. So wait, does that technically mean Darkseid was just giant at that final section? Yep. And he just crushes the Infinity Gauntlet and all the stones. I mean, to be fair, he'd done something similar to that in the crossover, where he more or less just tossed over the Infinity Gauntlet. Like, he was like, oh, it doesn't work on our universe. Whoop! Just throws it over his shoulder, just like, yeah, useless. Mm. I'm looking forward to him in the Zack Snyder Justice League. Uh, I guess we'll now move on to Shiny Boy. So, believe it or not, I've actually introduced people to that battle with certain episodes, so those are the ones I'll bring up. Um, Fair enough. A lot of my friends were were into Spider-Man and Batman, so I've introduced people with Spider-Man versus Batman, and they loved it, especially because uh, my family, they were laughing through the analysis the whole time. <laughs> Is it was it the Spider Man pooping spider webs joke? Spider Man, Spider Man, crap some webs like a spider can. <laughs> okay, the fact you both in, you were so in sync when you were singing that last bit, the first bit. <laughs> you started, a, yeah, like <laughs> it wor We work so well together now that we've done more podcasts. <laughs> it, it shows. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that, um, another one, well, besides, like, the comedy, the anime, the, the death for that was pretty brutal, and people debated, like, nowadays still a little bit, at least the people I kind of talk to. I mean, you couldn't make an argument for both characters, really. Yeah. Unless you're one of those people that goes, Spider-Man's light speed, you can scale him to World Breaker Hulk. That's true. Seriously, people, um, what the fuck? Another one that... Yeah, another one that comes to mind um, goes out to all my fellow Bleach fans because Ichigo versus Naruto was I, a good one, and despite Ichigo losing, that one was still amazing. 
You know, I knew that was that was amazing. <laughs> I am a bleach nerd. Okay, look at my god dang picture on Discord. I mean, yeah, I'm a Naruto nerd. I'm just saying, like, you're, I knew you were gonna choose that. <laughs> and I'm a Ruby and away. Attack on Titan nerd. <laughs> but despite that episode being one of the longest episodes in Death Battle, at nearly nearing half an hour, mind you. Yeah, I think second to Goku vs Superman, actually. I think so. It's at like over twenty-seven minutes, hmm. but it's very informal. The episode was great, and a, a lot of my friends were like, "There's," no, they were so surprised that they got JYB to actually voice Ichigo. Mm. I mean, he's a good voice actor. What can you do? <laughs> well, he's the actual voice actor for Ichigo was the, was the mind-blowing part to them. Like, the fact that this show that they weren't familiar with was able to get this guy to do it. Yeah, does anyone else notice, like, anytime a character is voiced by an official Sorry. voice actor, most of the times they die. That's actually true. Yeah. But the fact that they're able to get them is amazing because, you know, deals, contracts, you know, that kind of stuff. Hmm. And the fact that uh, I think... I forget the dub he worked under at the time. I think it was Funimation because they kind of worked with Chris Sabat too. Uh, the Death Battle people. Uh, yeah. But... Besides that, it's still an amazing watch, and the soundtrack for that is still one of my favorites, especially that ending 40 seconds. Of oh, it. it's so good. Uh, also, can we say shout out to Ichigo for having one of the best deaths in the series? Like, yeah. Yeah, you got the fact that they obliterated, but he picks up a stick and is like, bring it, bro. <laughs> He's got balls. That's another thing that people really liked about this, was they captured Ichigo so well in this episode. Like, it was so accurate to how he is in the show and everything. They were really impressed. Also, it was the first time his, like, final form from the manga ever got animated. Second. No, it was the first. Uh, J-Stars was the thing, I'm afraid. What? Huh? It was a video game to celebrate the anniversary of Shonen, and they had Ichigo's final form. Oh. Oh, I was thinking about Jump Force, uh... All right. <laughs> That's another topic, considering I play that a lot, okay? <laughs> uh, but I think I've only played that once, and I never touched there is, it. Fair enough, but there is one more episode that I do want to bring up, because this was the episode I got my girlfriend to watch with me. And Aww. every time I show her an episode... It's... <laughs> Now I'm actually embarrassed. God damn it, Bill. <laughs> it's, it sounds It happens so, all the time. It's so cute. It, it <laughs> I, I know, I know, but this is true. Every time I show Paige an episode of Death Battle or DBX, she always gets it right. Wow. Despite ne knowing next to nothing. <laughs> but the first episode I showed her was not was Zoro versus Urza. Ah. Hmm. She is a fan of fairy tale, and she started wa reading a bit of One Piece after she saw who Zoro was. I mean, Zoro is a pretty kick-ass character. Yeah, Zoro is yeah. fucking badass. I just wish his reveal for the next episode was a lot better than just using the PNG image. <laughs> it was like that's true, but like, like every character before him got an epic little animation or tease, and he was just meh, 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 meh. <laughs> like, he oh. was the first One Piece character to be fair. Uh, yeah, in a death battle, and, and it was the first anime versus anime fight. I know he should have had a more epic like next time preview. But besides that, it was a really good. Uh, it was really enjoyable for her uh, the first time to learn about all this stuff about these characters that she didn't even know some things about Urza, like how fast she really was and everything. Hmm. And like showing someone who loves a character but doesn't know exactly how fast things actually are is one of the coolest things when showing someone a death battle, especially if they're into it afterwards. Uh, I'm not going to lie, stuff like that has basically ruined Futurama for me. Because <laughs> every character in that is like, traveled at light speed. <laughs> no, it's just like, in the second episode, when they're off to the moon, like they get there in two seconds, and I just can't help but think, okay, but how fast is that? Do That's... You that's over half the speed of light. 
you, you think that's crazy. I can't even look at Bender anymore because of how Death Battle was maybe viewed characters. Bender is like the most overpowered Matt Groening character ever. <laughs> Dude, I really want to see if you try my character in Death Battle. He moved a planet with a fart. <laughs> <laughs> Why not Zoidberg? Do you know what we joke about that? Zoidberg is not exactly a completely weak guy. I mean, he managed to uh, un-clamp uh, clamps. Mm. <laughs> and he had the most but... sickest line ever. <laughs> <laughs> now I just think there should be a Futurama versus Mass Effect matchup now. Do you know, and do you know what's funny we saying that? When in the Simpsons now, you know video, what? Le in the you know what? Let's have the Planet Express ship fight the Millennium Falcon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's actually called? Han Solo versus Leela as a pilot, yes. Or, or if it gets to them on the ground, dude, Han, I love you, but oh boy, I'm sorry, buddy. But uh, as mentioned, Zoidberg and uh, Bender being really cool characters and overpowered, in the Simpsons video game, when Matt Groening had to fight the video game powered Simpsons, the first characters he brought to life were Zoidberg and Bender. Oh, yeah. The, he was like, right, these are my ace in the hole. <laughs> Dude, I was thinking about this at work. If they remaster Simpsons Hit and Run, can we just have a Futurama level? Because why the fuck not? Yes. <laughs> like, how cool would it be to just unlock Bender as the wear car and drive that around? <laughs> <laughs> that would... Uh, they have to have him go honk honk when you <laughs> hit the freaking wheel. That would be fun. Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> um, I don't... What else would... Uh... Or those are your only picks that you would introduce people to Death Battle, Sean? Well, I think overall, like, the idea for it is either A, people are into characters that I would recommend for them. But the one I would show regardless if, like, someone asked me, hey, what's a good episode of Death Battle to watch if I'm just getting into it? 100% TJ Combo versus Balrog. That, to oh, me, is still yes. I love that episode. So, my personal favorite episode of all time. It's so good. Exactly. It's so good. Like the like the act. I even mentioned this on like my old Twitter account. The actors were perfect, and plus, I'm I'm not a huge uh, Killer Instinct fan like I used to be. But when I saw TJ, I was remember becoming... right. I think the voice actor for Tusk in Killer Instinct was the voice of Bullrug in that fight. Are you serious? That is correct. Yeah, that is amazing. Like you don't hear it because Tusk and Bullrug are two different characters, but they do it so well. Oh, that is. That is brilliant. I love that. I think he did a reaction to that fight as well. What? He did. Oh, I need to find that reaction now. Mm. Like, I have to see that. Um, I'd like... I tell you, we'll the reason up. I would say that, like, that's a good starting point, I'll finish up in a second, is um, it's really good even if you don't know the characters, you know? Mm. Yeah, I mean, just seeing two boxers fight is always fun to watch. Yeah. Plus, like, as you were, like, I remember the first time I watched it when TJ did that last breath and he broke Borog's arm. I was actually just jumping up and down in my seat going, Go, TJ! <laughs> um, would that be your last say, Sean? Because uh, we are at an yeah. hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah, th that's all I got. Alrighty then. Um, so. Those were our thoughts on the latest Death Battle, the uh, next time, and just like with the last episode, we all kind of agree Shadow's going to win. Or at least we yeah. think he's <laughs> going to win. If he doesn't, no one gets a point, and I don't have to buy people anything. I, I actually regret <laughs> making that pact now. <laughs> Cause I've just you know what? I've just... What, if, what, if we, what if we all keep agreeing so we end up with the same score anyway? <laughs> I'll purposely pick different then. How's nah, that sound? Nah, that I will sound gladly like... be the loser. Nah, I, I'm, I'm gonna be a man, well, I make the promise, and if I t truly think a character wins and you two disagree, I'm gonna stick by my guns, because you know what? I'm, okay. I'm a man. <laughs> but, okay. But the thing I regret is, if you both win, then it's like, I regret my decision. <laughs> uh, <it's> gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have to post that meme up of, like, Gru going, in terms of money, we have no money. <laughs> or just Zoeba going, aww. <laughs> Oh god. Uh so and yeah, we what were some of your episodes that you would introduce people to if you wanted to introduce Death Battle for the first time? Leave them in the comments and we'll read some. Uh and 
Zoiberg, why not you say the title of this episode since you've been present for all of it? <laughs> In every single part. <laughs> Well, I think I ended up saying it in our private conversation, but... Alright, uh... Well, friends, how about Edgy Fosona versus Edgy Waifu? I dropped out of it partway through, but... Yeah, I was gonna it. say it. That was enough. <laughs> Your voice didn't exactly stay to it. I, I have to say the word friends. <laughs> like, for it to work. <laughs> So, it, it's a work in progress. It was like when I was trying to do Tristan from Yugo Abridged, I would just constantly say, My voice gives me super strength. It also <laughs> helps that I'm holding a rocket launcher. So, anyway, yeah, we'll wrap this up now. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw here, be sure to share the video around and get the channel growing. Mate, your outro. Well, if you enjoyed, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, but that's not what you thought of Mickey versus Yoda. Who do you think will win Shadow versus Ryuko? And uh, how you would introduce people to Death Bell and hope. Uh, what episodes are you hoping for this season? Aside from the T6. Which. We, I guess T's 4 now. So T's 4 star. Ha 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 ha. Sean, you're out, Charlie. Thank you, folks, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this podcast session. Again, let us know all your thoughts down below. And let us know, how do you think we're going to do in these predictions? And with that being all said, I will see you all later. I'm going to so regret it if I lose this bet.